no smoking signs are draped over Beijing's iconic Bird's Nest Stadium to advertise a new law. The Chinese capital is outlawing smoking in indoor public places like offices, pubs, and clubs. It's seen as the toughest anti-smoking legislation in mainland China's history. And while some bars and restaurants prepare for the ban with measures like outdoor seating, their owners remain skeptical. Any of uh, my friends in the business that have been around a long time just don't believe it'll last. It's something that'll be, you know, ignored or, or, uh, or just maybe be enforced for a short time and then it'll go away. People who break the law face fines of about $32, and businesses that fail to enforce it could have to cough up up to $1,600. A similar ban was put in place four years ago, but was widely flouted. And some think this one could face the same indifference. It's a social issue. It depends on people's social situation, their culture and upbringing. These can't be changed by government policy. The smoking industry is big business in China. Last year, it brought the government $146 billion in taxes and profits. But the burden on public health is heavy. An estimated 1.4 million people die each year from smoking-related diseases. And according to health workers, it's not just the smokers who are at risk. In 2010, 74 percent of non-smokers suffered from secondhand smoke. So you can imagine how many places people are smoking in. At first, the ban only applies to Beijing. But one day, it could be expanded to include the entire country and its estimated 300 million smokers.